Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're going to be checking out some design notes by Blaze in regards to the augment system. The new game feature item augments. Augments allow you to build upon the stats of your items and here's the guide. So this is Blaze that is telling us this. Now I'm going to be reading this word for word so that I don't mess anything up in the explanation since he is a creator of these augments. So coming from him, this will be the best info. So he says, this is Blaze. I'm here to tell you about this new feature item augments, the newest way to customize your build and increase your power level. Each statted item you get from now on will have a chance of having an augment attached to it. Augments can either increase or decrease any of your stats depending on which augment you obtain. What is an augment? Now here's a picture of the elite providing these stats. Obviously the green is because he has another item equipped that is lower in power than this one. So what is an augment? An augment is a quality of an item you get that boosts its stats in some way. There is a certain number of augments, each with its own name and stat boosts. You can see an item's augment by opening it up in the inventory. The augment's name is listed below the power with a gem next to represent its rarity. Blue, elite. So blue meaning uncommon or, well, actually, yeah, uncommon. Green is common. Uncommon, you have purple, which is rare. So what do the augments do? You can check what an augment does by tapping on the name, which will then bring up a graph showing what the stats are that are being boosted and by how much. It will look like this. So the fiendish, which is a very good augment, that is one of the um, legendary ones, and it gives a really good attack, crit, and haste. You may notice the units are not labeled on the bottom and this is because the units are actually pretty confusing. The numbers are much more, are, are, sorry, on how much the item's control is being affected, which is what is used to calculate the stat of the item based on its level and rarity. So this is something that I was confused about was how does it, like what is it basing it on? And so it is, it calculates based on the level and the rarity. So this is a lot and not intuitive. So we left that out since all you really need to know is what stats are affected and how much relative to other modifiers. So there we go. Augment rarity. Some augments are rarer than others. The rarities range from common, which is no gem, to mythic. So there, that confirmed now that the 0 0.001 chance of getting the mythic is in fact called mythic just so we know and this is with a crystal hexagon that is the gem beside it the odd of getting each augment is displayed on the panel the higher the rarity of the augment the more it will boost stats each rarity has augments for each of the stats so you will be able to fine tune your build which stats you want to be that defense offense or something in between, depending on, of course, what you want. I always lean more towards offense. However, I don't want to negate on my defense. I always do on a little bit of defense. What, like more health or something. What if I don't like my augment? There are two ways of getting augments. The first is just getting the item. If you want really good frogzard boots, you could grind up frog zards and grab boots. Each set of boots will come with an augment independently. But what about the end game items? Those hard to get items that take huge grinds to get. I don't want to grind it every time to get a chance to get something. Well, no fear. That's what augment rerolling is. So you'll find that on Maximus called the modifier reroll. And if you head to Maximus over at Cicero's Forge, you will see a new augment reroll option. Pick the item that you'll like to augment and you'll be able to roll a new augment with gold. So this gives an example of the augment reroll. This thing has no thing right here and, or it does, but it's not showing for some reason. And then he, you could roll it. It doesn't say reroll, it just says roll. So I'm assuming he has none. And then this shows what it is gaining. Here's the odds right here. So you've got, of course, the mythic, you've got the legendary, the rare, the uncommon, the common, and then the trash or junk or whatever that rarity is.
So as you can see, the attack is boosted. Nice crit and haste, all very nice. Shows it very clean. And so where can you find the stats for the augments? Bum -ba -dum. Here is the stats right there. So each one of these augments show you what they do. So for instance, if you're trying to look at something that builds up attack, and let's say you're going for like the, the purple, you have precise, exceptional, and exquisite. I believe that is it. And then the rest of them are for the uncommon and then the common. So these three right here, pretty sure that these are the three for the purple. You've got precise, exceptional, and exquisite. The precise is the one that focuses on attack. You have exquisite that does a balance between that and evasion. And then you have the exceptional. Exquisite might actually be on the other one, but anyways. And then that one there. For the for the legendary ones, you have fiendish, unreal, and magnificent. And fiendish really affects the attack. That is the one for attack. You have unreal, also affects attack. However, it also has a fairly balanced build between the rest of them. And then you have magnificent, which is the most balanced, I would say. It balances it between all of them, and it does highlight on certain things like the armor, the crit, the health. So, but wait, there's more. If there is one more augment not pictured, which is the mythic, and this is on purpose to keep the augment more mysterious. However, do not fear, because the community has your back. To kick off the launch of a new augment feature, I will be holding a small event on the social media, I'm uh, sorry, on social media, on the social media, the first five people to tweet Blaze with a mythic augment will get 2,000 dragon crystals each. So if you guys do happen to obtain a mythic augment, tweet Blaze, and I'll put a link to this, or actually, you know what, I'll just put his Twitter right in the thing, so you guys can go and check that in the pin uh, sorry, in the I'll put it in the pinned comment as well as also in the description of the video, so you guys can go and check out Blaze's tweet. And it says, "I hope this guide is helpful. We cannot wait to see how you customize your character build with a new augments. Very, very cool." We get another design note that goes over some of the things that's going to be coming. So, first of all player housing early testing our devs are able to place items rotate objects and perhaps most importantly climb on things in the house the functionality is still in early stages but we have a lot of foundational work done on houses no pun intended grid snapping degree snapping will be a thing and you will also be able to see the house owners moving items around in real time and i did show a preview of this in an earlier video if you guys want to go and check that previous video out so this is going to be really exciting also the fact that you're able to jump on these objects means potentially we could even build ourselves our own kind of parkour house things depending on you know what items we have that you could place on walls that'd be pretty neat though if they have some kind of platform so you could actually jump onto platforms that'd be really neat anyways guild housing psst, this is also a thing so this will be, I think, our guild hall. I think it's along those lines. Guild updates mostly done. The team is working on leaderboards, and we are just about to test. You can read about the new guild features here, and there's guild one. I already did cover that in a previous one. Cosmic set is going to be out of this world. Not sure what that means, but looking forward to see what that actually looks like. In-game mail system. That is crazy. An in-game mail system, no junk mail promise. This feature will probably be launched next, working on, with bot on this. That is going to be really, really nice, having that. A new intro, probably not as exciting for some of the higher end, but this is going to be streamlining the intro and balancing the beginning of the game to make it more easier for new players. Definitely well needed. It's going to be great because it's an awesome map. Then we got dual reward system. Another quality of life update will be the addition of dual rewards. 
So this will mean you'll be able to choose your reward instead of just being given something. That's going to be pretty nice. New Oracle class, bug fixes and balancings to get things right. The Oracle should have seen it coming. <laughs> That's a pretty good pun. And the next week, the August promo item arrives. So that's what we've got for the set of the day. I'm going with this one right here. This is a great set and made it into the set of the day. That is it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Keep those swords swinging.